We are back on our custom fiberglass door panel build. Let's go ahead and show you these door panels. We are back on our custom fiberglass door panel build. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to 10K subscribers. And once we actually hit 10K subscribers, we will actually give away this pair of Sundown subwoofers right here. They're 10 inch E-Series subs, man. They're little guys, but man, they're gonna, you know, bang in somebody's whip for free. If you are the type of guy that does car audio, does your own, works on your own car, does your own builds, man, this is definitely the channel to be at. Man, subscribe to the channel, turn those notification bells on because I drop nothing but bomb, do-it-yourself, car audio, tutorials, and the convenience of the backyard. And let's get back to these door panels, guys. Today we actually went ahead and mounted the three tents on each door. They look pretty good. Man, they're actually on their held pretty good. For today's video, we're actually going to go ahead and mount the tweeter and the horn on the door. So the tweeter is going to go in this area right here. But if you look at it from this point of view, the tweeter ring is actually even hitting on the armrest part of the door. So obviously, if we were to go ahead and wrap that in a fleece, it's definitely not going to work. The thing that's actually holding the tweeter from being able to position in a little bit better is this stand right here so what I actually have to go ahead and do is I'm gonna actually get my grinder with a sanding pad on it and I'm gonna knock a lot of this off so we can be able to play with the ring itself and bring it down obviously if we were to go ahead and grind this out grind that out once we get done fiberglass in our door panels wrap them in vinyl and get the doors mounted on the doors you're never even gonna notice Our tweeter ring so now it's just a matter of uh, cutting out some stand two inches two inches so we can go ahead and glue this guy in place and then the tweeter rings will be done obviously if we cut two two inch uh, strips out for the tweeter we actually got to cut an additional two for this door panel um, we don't actually have to mess or grind anything off with this door panel because the stand is actually put in a different location of the ring versus that one um, it was in the way and I didn't want to move it or break the ring off into place so I just went ahead and just grinded it down like I just did um, and this one we just pretty much just got to cut out the strips uh, glue it to the 10 inch rings right here and then I think we should be done We actually got the tweeter rings mounted so check that off the list only thing left now is to go ahead and mount the horn which it'll probably go right here if i go ahead and mount it here it's definitely going to change the position that we got our hole cut out but i'm going to actually mount it and after we get done fiberglassing it i'll come back and i'll cut the the hole bigger from the back of the mold and on the door panel itself just so it'll clear it you know that much better 
but um, just because I need something to mount it, just because um, it is going to be a heavier uh, speaker right there. So I need to go ahead and brace this guy up to the max to make sure um, that it doesn't sag or anything. I did want to share with you guys real quick before we go any further. When you make your stands, uh, make sure that your stands don't go past the, the cutout hole. Because the last thing you want is when you get done and you go to mount your tweeters or speakers in, um, the speaker doesn't go in, go in because a little bit of the lip of the stand's hanging out. Then you're going to have to go in there with some pliers, um, take it out, and, or grind it off. And it's just going to cost way more work. And nothing gets more stressful when you're already at that finish line finishing your door panels and you got extra work you got to do. Looks like we actually went ahead and cut a majority of the holes uh, for clearance of the speakers. Uh, we probably do got to come in there and cut a little bit more, but it's not, you know, like we have to go ahead and cut everything out. Um, it's just minor stuff like the horns and maybe the little lip on this tan and stuff like that. But other than that, everything's going to drop right in. Since we are actually just building the door panels and the customer is going to put his own speakers in, um, I am going to just go ahead and cut a majority of the metal that it needs to get cut out on the actual door of the truck so he doesn't run into problems so he can just, you know, call calmly just drop speakers in without having to worry all he has to do is just uh, wire them up screw them in and he's done but i don't know if you guys can see but there is not one ring on here that's actually pretty flat instead of just this guy everything's got a small angle on it um, and it's a real small low profile door you do not have to build these bulky things um, you just got to find you know the right location um, that works with the door panel and the metal of the truck and you're going to build yourself some nice low profile clean door panels this horn's actually rather, you know, a little bit more bigger. So we're actually going to have to bring it up just a hair bigger than everything else. But we have all the clearance and the room for it. Um, we just want to go ahead and make sure um, it has a nice small angles on it. When we go to wrap this door panel, it doesn't really mess us up. Um, you know, like I said, we are getting a really nice uh, vinyl. So the stretchiness is going to be there. Um, but we don't want to go ahead and build something that's just going to be uh, bulky and look crazy and you know um, messes up uh, once we start wrapping the door panel.
right guys real quick before I actually go ahead and show you the door panel man it looks crazy it looks dope um, I want to thank my boy that let me build the door panels for his truck and his patience um, maybe if I would have started doing them like a week before the creativity and how much detail I actually went to it probably wouldn't have gone in the doors I probably just would have whipped them together um, to look still good but not as much as detail and stuff that we took in consideration um, how they came out now man so definitely Hit the like button and man, subscribe to the channel, man, because this is what we do here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, man, car audio YouTuber wise, man, we do the damn thing, man. We are a one man army, man. Let's go ahead and show you these door panels. Guys, guys, let me tell you, man, these door panels look very, very very saucy guys um, I already closed the door they look pretty good inside there everything seems to be out the way from everything um, the speakers uh, fit in there good we probably just got to cut some metal from this one the center one not really and that one probably just got to take the factory speaker out which is a crescendo um, but the horns gonna clear the tweeters definitely gonna clear everything else man this door panel is solid 1000% ready for fleece the horn like I said it's gonna be a lot of weight so we actually went ahead and put a little bit more extra stands on it just because we need it to um, hold its weight um, and when we go ahead and fiberglass it we're gonna definitely have to mat it and just make it strong just so it never um, you know sags or anything like that went and did the extra mile and put these bolts um, underneath the fiberglass as well too to hold it in there um, it's not actually even being held by anything too crazy um, so once we actually go ahead and finish the door panel we mount it and we put the nuts on the back man this door panel is never gonna fall off guys the detail that actually went into this door panel with cutting out the hole the countersink the mids um, the speaker ring backwards man that's awesome uh, the rings are actually countersunk these actually have a small lip on it if you guys can't tell that we can put our fleece on it this has our lip on it um, the stands are all custom uh, every single stand is cut out specifically for each speaker ring so it's you know there's a lot of work and time into this guys that's why you know when you get to this caliber of building door panels man you can charge the extra bucks and um, this is just forming it you know so this is my form of art you know saying this is you know me expressing my vision and imagination and I'm bringing it to reality you see what I'm saying like this is my form of art some people sculpt eyes paint and all that stuff you know me I do woodworking I build door panels and once I lay the fiberglass and bondo man we're gonna sculpt it out and make one beautiful door panel guys this is why I tell you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel we did everything with just regular tools um, nothing too crazy none of those fancy tools gadgets or none of that stuff and we did it in the convenience of our backyard with just simple stuff you see what I'm saying um, no badass table saw no badass routers um, just the minimum router bits some wood creativity imagination and you know determination and we got it done I'm gonna go ahead and put these door panels away um, and then we'll close out the video and let you guys know what's next door panels are safely put away in my barber room and it is AC inside here so I do not have to worry about no one messing with them and um, the hot glue getting hot and dissolving the rings from the mold so they're safely in here so stay tuned subscribe to the channel I'll catch you guys on the next one peace <laughs>